All right, so my fish tank. Um, I'm doing gravel, aqua soil, and sand as the base layer. I have the gravel and I have the aqua soil. This is gravel from my parents' barn. And the aqua soil is from the store. And then this is sand I got from the Lowe's for $5. However, with it being so cheap, it is very dirty. And I also hope that it doesn't contain anything that's going to harm my animals, which I don't have yet. This is the sand from Lowe's. It's very dirty. This is probably the 12th time that I've washed it. Slightly transparent. It just takes a lot more time, especially with my plants. I bought my plants a month or two ago, and I only bought a few in hopes that they would grow. And have they grown? Not really. Some of them have, but not all of them. I've washed it five more times since that last clip, and as you can see, it's still, still not clear. Still probably not clean enough. At this point, I've probably washed it about 50 times. I think that's as clear as I can get it to be. Um, so now, the next step will be to test it. That's all of it. It's pretty low. Very low. Okay. The next step is to take out the plants, put them in a bucket, so then I can harvest the aqua soil, and then I'll mix the aqua soil with the other rocks that I've already washed. Oh, look at him. Look at that. Good for him. This plant just absolutely broke apart. When I got it, he was all together. Just sad. Oh, look at him. He's healthy. I don't really know what's up with this guy. When I got him, he looked kind of sad. He was 50% off. But look, he's growing from the tip of his leaf right here. A new, a new one. You see? This guy. Look, and he's just falling apart. Ah, oh, boy. Here's my substrate. Coarse sand, gravel, and aqua soil mixture. I have a variety of rocks, all of which lived in Alaska. It's not as high up as I thought it would be. idea really if I like it it looks good I think um, I'm not amazed with myself but I'm not disappointed either so <laughs> so that's good um yeah but I was just saying that there's a plant in the back here and he's being squashed and then hopefully tomorrow it'll be clear and then it will look better but my moss has just arrived. I'm gonna go get my moss from the mailbox. I got the moss. Oh, super glue. We're going to buy super glue from the Lowe's when we go out to dinner later so that we can super glue this to a rock. I'm now gluing the Java moss to the rock.
Some mossy fellas. I'm cutting up pieces of leave for the shrimps. Shrimp time. It's time for the shrimps to go in their new house. I've only been keeping this tank for like two months, three months maybe. Only. Yeah. Chill, bro, chill. Oh, there he is. Oh my god, he looks so good. Look at him swimming. Go down to the bottom, buddy. There's so much good food. Where is he? Here. Five shrimps. I have completed the shrimp tank. Cooper. The five shrimps are in there and they seem very happy, so I'm very pleased. Um, however, I'm not sure if five of them is enough. I feel like I should up their number a little bit. But as of right now, they seem fine and they're all kind of eating together. But yeah, if I upped their number, I would probably have to up the tank and I just spent three months making this. <laughs> So I really don't want to have to do that. Um, so yeah, maybe five for now is a good number. If I make a new tank, I, I would make another video. Yeah. Can I say like and subscribe? <laughs> <laughs> if you want more shrimp content, go see somebody else because there probably won't be more shrimp content. And new fish tanks. <laughs>